Hi everyone, this is Amit Jathior. Welcome back to another video in my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about the different resources that you can use in order to master system design from scratch. This video is important for both freshers as well as lateral hires in order to learn and understand the basic core concepts and principles of system design and high level design. Not only this, in today's video, I have also explained you how you can pick up industry grade projects and build them in order to strengthen your resume. Apart from this, I would also like to call out that I have a giveaway going on in my channel. So do go and check out that video. I will be giving away courses from Pep Coding, Geeks for Geeks, as well as Cryo. And some of the courses have like guaranteed interview calls for companies with six lakh plus uh, salary brackets. So do go and check out that video. It might be helpful to you. One big shout out. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please go and subscribe to it as well as hit that notification bell. It will mean a lot to me. And for the subscribers out there, guys, hit that notification bell. Otherwise, you will not get updates from my channel or notifications every time when I upload some quality content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. The page that you see in your screen is also known as famously System Design Primer GitHub. If you type in uh, Google System Design Primer GitHub, this is the link that will come up. Uh, go to this page. It is like the holy grail of system design. It will tell you about the approach that you should be taking while answering such questions. It will tell you how to do estimations. It will tell you what all uh, basic structure of the entire interview uh, of the entire system design interview looks like, what all things you should be studying. Although keep in mind that this is at a very high level and doing just this will not cut it in any system design interview. And having said that, even if I call this the holy grail of system design, there are many things that you can directly skip in this particular system design primer because those are frankly not required. And if you open this page, then I will just tell you what are things you should be studying. Uh, you can skip this uh, section completely. These are basically flashcards and they ask you to install an application to download these flashcards, which are not required, frankly. You can skip all these things because these are the end solution of questions before looking into the solution of the question i think so that you should be understanding what different components mean what is dns what do you mean by a client what is a load balancer what is a web server if there is any indexing required what are reverse indexes what are queues here what are microservices how caching works what are the different kinds of databases which database to select in which case all these things you need to understand that you can start from there and read one by one whatever topic that is present here it is a very good guide and it also has different links to different other resources which clearly explains you the intricacies of different systems that are present one thing that i would clearly warn you that do not go through this this is for low level design and the solutions that are present here are not good and not at all up to the mark and please do not go through this you will uh, find much better explanation in my channel itself uh, i have around 10 LLD videos that i have published and i will be publishing more uh, so stay tuned for that do not only just rely on this because it will just give you a superficial information around different topics apart from that it also has many embedded links in it that you can leverage to actually understand the different concepts in complete detail so go through those embedded links as well in order to have a clear understanding of what you want in addition to this you can also check out one more resource from where you can study uh, system design i am talking about scalar academy uh, most of you might be knowing about scalar academy it's an ed tech company which is focused in providing interview preparation course personal mentorship as well as placement support to college students freshers as well as working professionals apart from providing live and recorded lectures there are also various other advantages of uh, the courses that scalar offers they have one-to-one -one personal mentorship by people like us who are working in the industry and not only this they also have the option of taking mock interviews where verified people from the industries will be taking your mock interview although here i am not specifically talking about Scalar Academy, I will be talking about the events that Scalar Academy actually hosts. These events are basically master classes which they host every weekend. All the master classes that you see here in the events section of Scalar, I will link it in the description below, is completely free of cost. You do not have to pay anything for them. And these master classes, my friend, are a gem. These masterclasses are actually taken by industry experts who have closely worked with industry leaders like Mark Zuckerberg, to name a few, who have worked in good productive companies like Facebook, Google, Hotstar, DirectEye, and many more, who come here in these free live masterclasses over the weekend and explain about different systems that either they have designed or different systems that they are talking about. These masterclasses are a great way to interact with these industry experts and understand how actually the systems are scaled in big product tech companies. For example, there is currently a masterclass that is open which talks about how to design Telegram. Here you will get the complete detail as to how you can actually design Telegram and it will be taken by Anshuman Singh who was an ex-Facebook tech lead who has worked in Facebook Messenger 
with Marzo Kobo. This masterclass will be on 25th of March from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. So do go and check it out. It, it will definitely be amazing. If you see the past ones that have already taken place is basically building Instagram, building WhatsApp, building Uber and so on and so forth. This is an amazing platform to actually interact with real industrial professionals in a live classroom. There are also a plethora of other masterclasses that Scalar actually takes over the weekend or even in the weekdays. For example, this masterclass is a pre-recorded series that will talk about how you can effectively understand and solve dynamic programming problems. Not only this, there is a self-assessment test that you can take as well as there is another masterclass on how to actually build Amazon front-end using React.js. All of these masterclasses are completely free of course and you should definitely go ahead and check them out. I will give a link in the description below. Go there, register yourself. It's completely free of cost and not a single penny will be charged to you. Not only this, apart from it, you can also go and check out Interviewbit. There is a system design section inside Interviewbit, although the number of questions there is a bit less, but the questions that are present are very good. Now, if you have a query as to how to understand what real life technology companies actually use in their backend infrastructure to power their servers, power their applications, power their products to scale up to such an extent that it concurrently solves or concurrently handles millions of queries per second. Then I will simply suggest a couple of channels which are present in YouTube which caters to such queries. Obviously it is the Amazon Web Services official YouTube channel and that channel has tons of videos explicitly around all these things. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of videos of different companies who have leveraged different services that Amazon Web Services has to scale up so that they can build such highly scalable distributed system and what all services they have used in order to do so. So Amazon reInvent is basically a yearly event uh, that AWS has where they you know, bring in several industry experts from different companies who actually leverage AWS to solve who, uh, who actually leverage AWS to solve their daily needs. Uh, for example, in this particular video, you can see that they have brought in, you know, engineers from hotstar.com who talks about how they use different services that AWS provides to scale hotstar to 25 million concurrent viewers. So going through these videos, and there are several such videos from AWS reInvent conferences that you can find in YouTube. You can just type Amazon reInvent and there will be a bunch of videos you can go to this YouTube channel, AWS Events, or Amazon Web Services to get hold of such videos as well. These videos have immensely helped me in understanding how in actual companies decisions are made, how trade-offs are calculated, what kind of technology is actually being used by these companies in order to meet such high and ever-increasing demand. I will also suggest you to go through this playlist here, which is this is my architecture and it has around 533 videos. It is an extremely important playlist if you actually want to have a good understanding of different kinds of architecture, different kinds of designing patterns, different kinds of designs in place for different systems. Here each video has a different company and different company has a different use case and they actually define their use case and then completely draw out their entire design for that particular use case. What is the capacity that they are handling? What is the concurrency that they are handling? And they discuss everything about that design. These videos are generally shorter in nature because they just talk about the design that is in place. Apart from that, these were the YouTube channels that I was talking about. One is Amazon Web Services and the other one is another playlist of Amazon reInvent. Uh, you can go through these. These are uh, amazing, same people. After you have went through these videos or after you have went through the architecture that is present for one company, now, how to dig deeper into that architecture? Like if a company says that they are using a streaming mechanism, so how to understand what kind of streaming mechanism they are using? If the company says that they are using some kind of a queuing mechanism, then how to understand what kind of queuing mechanism they are using? What kind of different queuing mechanisms are present in the real world? So what I would suggest is you understand the design they are talking here, you get to know about uh, the different terms, the different services that they are using and then simply search for those services in Google. So let's say you want to understand about queuing services and let's say the video talked about SQS. So what you will do is you will just write AWS SQS doc and hit enter. You will find uh, the first link which will be the Amazon Simple Queue Service documentation. Go to that. And you will see a detailed documentation of the entire service that is in place that the videos are talking about. And you can, you know, get the developer guide, get the API reference, how it is being used, why it is being used, where it is being used, what all things are present, everything. Case studies, who all are using it, each and everything. So these are like amazing documentation that is in place. Uh, you can get, click here, then go to the more documentations and you there will be a list of 
services that uh, AWS has. You can go through them. You can go through DynamoDB. You can go through Elastic Cache uh, that is present. You can go through EC2. You can go through Step Functions, Lambdas, ActiveMQ, RabbitMQ, whatever service you can actually think of you will find a detailed documentation of all those services, where they are used, how they are used, what are the best practices to use them. Every detail that is there, that is possible, you will get it here. You just go through them, whatever service, new service you are thinking about, whatever new architecture you are designing, whatever things you are searching for, whatever uh, new things that you got to know about from these topics, from these stocks, uh, be it AWS reInvent, be it uh, This Is My Architecture or any other place, you can come here and search for them. And mostly you will get a good solution of how they are used, why they are used, where they are used, what are API gateways, what is a VPN, what is how DNS configuration is done, what is load balancing and how load balancing is managed and what are the different kinds of load balancers that are present. And not only this, those of you who are telling like what kind of projects we should do, I would suggest that go through these videos, understand some of the aspects that they are talking about and try to implement them using AWS infrastructure completely. This way you will get good industry exposure because you are solving some problems that already you know people in the industry face and have solved you know the design or what all are the services that they are using to solve the problem at scale as well as there is no additional extra cost and you will get a very good project out of it and a very good learning experience out of it so i would totally say that if you want good projects do this apart from that i will also suggest this blog which is high scalability blog which is an amazing blog and it has uh, like many many things in your real life architectures for example or uh, different companies a short on how zoom works so basically how zoom or any kind of uh, video conferencing app actually works this blog is also extremely good if you want to get a good enough understanding of how to design highly scalable system and last but not the least i would also suggest you to go through the engineering blogs of different companies so for example instagram netflix yell facebook uber and many other companies have their dedicated engineering blogs and in these dedicated engineering blogs they talk about everything from you know how they are using machine learning to solve some of their challenges how they have implemented certain features in their applications how they are scaling their infrastructure to meet the ever-growing need everything under the sun for that particular application you can get the complete detailed information go whether or not they're storing some information in their web server for example in case of whatsapp they do not store the chat information in the web server and in case of instagram or in case of facebook messenger you would see that the chat information is stored in their web server now how do i know this obviously i can actually read through the blogs here and they have written it here on the other hand you can also see that whatsapp asks you to back up your data into your google account and if you do not back up the data into a Google account and you, you know, reinstall WhatsApp in some different device, you lose all your chats, which says that the chat information is not present in the server. But in case of Facebook Messenger, if you install it in a different device or you open it from a different browser, the chats are still there, which means the chat is persisted in a central location from which they are providing us the chat. So many such information you will get here. Uh, and you will be able to answer all these kind of questions properly with proper reasoning behind them. So you should go through these, you know, technical blogs of Instagram, Netflix, Yelp, Facebook, Uber, and so on and so forth. And definitely you will learn a lot. Thank you guys for watching till here. It really means a lot to me. If you like the content, then do like this video, share it among your friends and peers, as well as subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit that notification bell. It is extremely important for you to do so. Do comment down below any additional resource that I might have missed or uh, comment down below what resources you did not know about from this particular video. Not only this, also comment down below what different kinds of video you would like me to make. I will surely make them. This is Samyajit bidding goodbye. Das Vidanya.